Why do you think we have three stage ones here? This, so that you guys develop a kind of expertise in this. Why? Some of the candidates who could have otherwise passed the SSB fail just because of the stage one. You can now get a free SSB course under the guidance of Major General Bhakuni at SSB Short Short Academy if you attend any of our written courses for NDA, CDS or FCAT. Attend 4 to 5 lectures daily and prepare with study material, mentor support, weekly feedback, mock tests and guidance by officers in our lush green 28 acre military campus. Call us now on 725-930-7111 for queries and registrations. Now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, now what I was saying, so many candidates whom I have interviewed, I was interviewing, I realized why this candidate failed. Well, the I have got screened out twice. Somebody says I have got screened out thrice. Trust me, I knew this candidate will pass. I just said, believe me, I must have said this 15 to 16 candidates. Man, if you crack your stage one, you'll crack the SSB. It happens. Because remember, stage one is just to test you whether you can undergo the SSB stage two or not. Do you have the basic qualities for SSB? It is not the full test of your personality, guys. That is the stage two. So we are not able to just comprehensively your personality. We are not able to do that. Is that understood? Now you people should understand what is the importance of stage one. Guys, let me tell you, as you people, most popular option for the youth. Highest number of applicants are there for the armed forces. I have already told you, if you want to further check on this, check Google today, see the Union Public Service Commission website. See the number of applicants for the armed forces are highest in the country today. Why? Because let me tell you now, and today's youth, particularly North Indians, they have no doubt that this is the best service, best facilities, best life, highest paid service. You know, if you get a life in the armed forces, I think this journey of this particular life is made. You can't expect a better life than the armed forces. Whether you join Air Force, whether you join Navy, whether you join Army. It is such a wonderful service, guys. It's actually a dream job. The South Indians particularly still not very convinced about it. They still go for Infosys, various these uh, uh, corporate jobs or government jobs, but not realizing that armed forces beats all of them hollow, thoroughly. See, the kind, even if you get through in the Infosys or even TCS today, in spite of being from a good college, ask your colleagues, some of you may be in the corporates. The pay may be maximum 60,000, 70,000. But the moment you become an officer at the age of 20, 21, 22, your pay is nearly 140,000. And facilities are far more. If you just count the facilities, it is three and a half times than your pay. So you virtually cost to the government five to six lakh. Imagine, can you get a job like that? So for that job, you got to sacrifice, guys. You got to make yourself capable. Now coming to the topic proper. And let me tell you guys, and the repeaters will understand this. Why people fail in SSB and particularly in stage one is just because they are not prepared. They are not prepared. And these guys who are sitting in front of me will do far better. Their selection rate is going to be, I can give you in writing, is going to be far more, far better than the remaining candidates. Why? <coughs> because you, the confidence, you know what is the SSB looking for. You know what is required in the stage one guys. And if you know, then only you can prepare for it. If you do not know what is expected of you, and some of you are so much, you know, so much careless or casual about SSB, 
that they do not know how the tests are conducted there. This is the stage of your preparation. You can imagine whether you will pass or not. And one dialogue I always say that, guys, if you clear yourself from your heart that I am capable, I have the requisite qualities of an officer, I have that confidence, I have that power of expression, I have those OLQs, guys, that is the first stop of passing. You will pass. Your chances of passing are very, very high. Okay? Now, coming to the stage one, guys, this stage one was started in 1998. And since then, the number of failures are increasing, increasing day by day. Why it is increasing day by day? Because the number of people are increasing. Armed forces vacancies remains more or less same, maybe a little bit increase. Vacancies remain the same. The number of people <coughs> increasing every day. Now, what happens and the limitation of the SSB is, Every board has got a limited handling capacity. A particular board at a time can handle 40 to 50 candidates. Now the candidates who report are 400 to 500 sometime. Usually it is 150 to 200. Imagine if 400 candidates come, we have to select just 40 of them, 360 will fail. 360 in the stage one. Imagine the tough competition, guys. So you have to be one of those 40 who gets screened in. Are you getting me? And out of that, the selection rate is further down. You know that in SSB, only 3.6% candidates will pass. So it re really requires a bit of hard work. You don't have to be get worried about it. Okay? Let me tell you, any one of you, if you have the determination, if you have the passion and love for the armed forces, you guys can make it. Each one of you can make it. I can assure you this. I simply give my example if I can make it who is from a village background, who has always studied in a government <coughs> college and did his graduation in a privately. You know about me, privately I did, after joining as a Zaman in the army. So it is not that difficult. <coughs> Only thing, you have to groom yourself, you have to believe yourself, you have to develop those also like qualities. And nobody can fail you thereafter, I can assure you this. So, don't consider yourself, you know, that others will make it, you lack this, that. You can improve every quality. You just need four months. Four months preparation you need thorough. But you got to have passion, love, determination for the armed forces. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Okay, guys. Now coming back again to the topic. Today will be a proper stage one as it happens in the SSB. Because we will judge you exactly as per the SSB standard. We'll start from chest number 17, like this. Okay? The moment I sit down in the chair, chest number 17 will start off. He will narrate his story, guys. When you narrate your story, caution to you, narrate it confidently, precisely, to the point, and with good body language. Why I am saying this? Because stage one, if you want to clear stage one, there are four mantras of stage one. You can call it four secrets. You can call it four mantras. What are these four mantras? These four mantras are the first one, guys. Like the first thing you will do, your OIR test will be done. Like we have already done for the OIR test for the older candidates. Your OIR test will be done and you got to be minimum OIR three. OR 1, 2, 3. If you get OR 1, very good. OR 2, reasonably good. OR 3, possible. But 4 and 5 are failed. You know that. Okay? And the second thing which you just did, you wrote a story, guys. You saw the picture. And your story has to be relevant to the picture. We will teach you again. The old course is well aware of it. The new course will learn gradually. What is... The meaning of writing a relevant story based on that picture. Because you people write a prepared or made up story which is not required. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The second is writing a relevant story. The third which is a very important is narration. Now you people are setting. The third and fourth point are the most important. 
which will make sure you will crack the SSB. We'll at least crack the stage one. Narrate your story confidently, precisely, to the point with good body language. Is that understood? With good body language. This is the narration. And the last point, again, which is very important. Third and fourth points are the most important. Fourth point is your discussion. The moment chest number, the last chest number finishes, the discussion will automatically start. Okay? And in discussion, you must participate minimum two to three times. Minimum two to three times. And when you talk, you better talk sense. Not that you speak one-liners. Now, story. Okay? Or some people may not have finished their story. They would have written three, four lines, which happens in certain cases. So you can say, Ki, Sir, can I bring a change? You should take permission and then. Whenever you want to bring a change or add or delete something from your story, you must take permission. Is that understood? This is what the SSB will tell you. Later you can ask me a question on this. And guys, remember, after that, in the SSB, the group goes. The moment they go, we just sit for two minutes and we decide your fate, whether you are fit for stage one or not. Is that understood? We three of us who sit here, psychologist, GTO and interviewing officer, we just say, chest number one, we'll give our grading. Yes, no or doubtful. Yes, no or doubtful. If you get three doubtfuls, you pass. Even if you get two doubtfuls, they are called Ds. You pass. Okay, if you get even one yes, you pass. So we'll just say D, D, N. D, N, N. So we quickly decide your fate because when you narrate and when you discuss, we'll be ticking your name and then circling your name. Ticking your name if your narration is good. Circling your name if you have done good in discussion means you are passed. At least you are a D grading. Everybody clear on this? Yes, sir. Any doubts before I sit down? No, sir. Okay, guys, and the guys who are behind will watch this.